What's kicking YouTube? I'm the Pokegen and uh, I have some more Pokemon Showdown Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire OU for you guys today. Um, as you can as you can hear, my mic is fixed, but unfortunately in my Let's Play you're gonna be hearing it um, on tomorrow's episode and on Friday's episode that my audio was still a little messed up because I bulk recorded those and um, you're still unfortunately gonna see. I mean you're gonna hear the audio issues, but right now. Um, it's actually going well. I had to disable something, but oh, that doesn't matter. Whatever. So, um, today I wanted to try out Megalopony, and um, Megalopony looks really promising, to be honest. I really, I, I, I really like its design, to be honest, and I just grew to love it. When I first saw it released, I was a little confused as to why they were um, releasing Gen 4 Megas, but you know, I kind of warmed up to it. And, uh, and I really like it for some reason. So, uh, the set that I chose for it today is, uh, Drain Punch, Fake Out, Ice Punch, and Fire Punch. Um, with the EV spread of 252 in attack, 4 in defense, and 252 in speed. So, basically, it's speedy and just attack. Just full-on physical attacker. I made it in Adamant Nature, and, uh... I don't mind if it's not if it's not if it's not the fastest on the field, but it really works out for its benefit, honestly, for me, for me, for what I've seen. So next, um, I just chose a uh, weakness policy Dragonite with um, multi-scale ability with Dragon Claw, Dragon Dance, Earthquake, Earthquake, and Extreme Speed. Um, this is a set that I have used before. Um, I decided to, uh, actually go with a more defensive Dragonite. It's actually not that bad. Um, I actually enjoy using it. Um, I chose the EV spread of 4 in HP, 252 in attack, and, uh, 252 in defense with an impish nature. So, like I said, it's more of a defensive Dragonite. Then next we have a regular Gengar with holding a Focus Sash with the moves Dazzling Gleam, uh, Sludge Bomb, Destiny Bond, and, uh, Th and Shadow Ball. Um... I've used, I think I've used this kind of Gengar before, um, I actually have a modest one, not a timid one, but, um, I, I think I prefer the fast one over just a full-on special attacker. I think everybody does, to be honest, because who would, who wants a slow Gengar? But, um, the EV spread that I chose for it was 252 in special attack, 4 in special defense, and 252 in speed. Um, yeah, basically very speedy Pokemon and full on special attacker. And I just put the four in special defense just because. <laughs> uh, up next we have Clefable. I love Clefable. I love using Clefable. Honestly, it's absolutely amazing <laughs> how just bulky this thing is. But, um, I never used the set before and I just wanted to try it out. So I gave it a leftovers and then I gave it Magic Guard ability. Now. Uh, what's the other? I think on un I think unaware it gets. Yeah, it gets unaware as well. But I chose Magic Guard because I prefer Magic Guard over unaware. But maybe another time I will try out a unaware Clefable. But right now I want to try Magic Guard because this is more. This is a bulky uh, Clefable, and if it's burned or toxic, then. Your shit out of luck, what's the point? So, the moveset I chose for it was Moonblast, Flamethrower, Calm Mind, and Soft Boiled. Like I said, this is an annoying Clefable. <laughs> Flamethrower is just for surprise. Um, I, I, have, I use Flamethrower on my other Clefable. And uh, I, I, it's my first time trying out Calm Mind and Soft Boiled. I run a mixed Clefable. And um, so the... Uh, Stat the, uh, the stat EVs that I chose for it were 252 in HP, 104 in defense, 4 in special attack, and 148 in special defense. I wanted to spread out in its defense and special defense, just just make it full on annoying, <laughs> basically. But um, I chose a calm nature as well for this one. Um, up next we have the Mammal Song that I've used in my Mono Ice team, so you probably you already know what the set is. It's Earthquake, Ice Will Crash, Ice Shard, and Knock Off with the Life Orb with the Thick Fat ability. Um, the EV spread 68, 252, Attack, and 188 in Defense with Adamant Nature. So yeah, this is my Life Orb set. Um, maybe one day I'll use a, a more of a defensive set in the future. We'll see. I'm not sure. 
And this is my first time using Slowbro as well, so I wanted to test it out just to see really how annoying it can get. Maybe in the next video, or I'll choose I'll make a Slowbro, but I think actually I'll make that for um, this Saturday, because I think I already have something lined up for Thursday as well, so... Um, the item I chose for Slowbro is Leftovers, and obviously you give it the Regenerator ability, so when it switches out, it regains um, HP. So, um, the moves I chose for it were Slack Off, Thunder Wave, Toxic, and Scald, with the EV spread of 200 in HP, 252 in Defense, and 56 in Special Attack, right? Special Attack? No, wait. Yeah, Special Attack, I'm sorry, I forgot Scald was a, was a special. And, uh, I chose a bold nature for this because there's no attacking moves on it. We have a special attack, but I mostly wanted to wanted to concentrate on HP and defense. So, uh, now looking at my weaknesses, I say I do have a bit of a fairy weakness because of Dragonite and Lopunny. And also, um, I do have an electric weakness with Slowbro. Um, I have a, I have a bug weakness... Not really. Actually, I would have to say more... Let's see, you are you are weak to ground fighting. Are you weak to fighting? I don't remember. If, I think you are weak to fighting, but... Um, Clefable's weak to uh, poison and steel. Uh, uh, ghost and dark. And psychic, actually. Ice, Dragon Fairy, and Fairy Psychic. So, mostly Psychic, I have a weaknesses with the uh, Gengar and Lopunny, but overall, I like this team. And also, by the way, I do have a battle recorded for you guys, so if you give me just one measly minute, I will set it up for you guys in just one moment. Later. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, here is that battle that I was talking to you about before, and I can't wait to show it off because it's actually a really funny battle for me. And I played really well in this too, so I definitely showed off Megalopony in this battle, but I'm pretty excited to show show you this. So, alright, let's get started. As he brings out the Bisharp, um, I started out with Slowbro. He ended up going for knockoff, knocking off my leftovers. I was like, shit, I already have the stack off Slowbro. But, you know, I went for Thunder Wave just to go for Thunder Wave to paralyze him, and uh, he switches out into his Dawn Fan, and I went for Slack Off just to get some more HP off, and I believe I went for another Slack Off just to get full HP. No, I went for a Toxic, my bad, just so that thing needs to be poisoned. And I went for another Slack Off, because I think I believe he I knew he was going to switch out. Yeah. So, then I eventually I switch out into... Mamoswine, which was a bad idea on my part. Um, I wanted to go for knockoff, I think, what I wanted to do, so... Yeah, I went for knockoff, and then thankfully he went out to Porygon 2 and... Uh, knocked off his Evoli. I, I was so fucking happy. I went for Icicle Crash, almost killing the Porygon, because Porygon 2 is, like, my biggest enemy. And, unfortunately, almost knocking out my Mamoswine, and... Um, I went for... I went for Ice Shard, and that's a lot to Dawn Fan, I'm just saying. So, unfortunately, we do kill off the Mammoth Swine, which I'm okay with, so... Oh, well. Um, I go into the Slowbro, and look, I have full HP, basically. And I, uh, he went for Earthquake, almost did, did about half damage, and I went for Scald, knocking out the Dawn Fan. Yay! So... He brings in the Bisharp, um, I go first. I go into Dragonite, ha ha ha. I wanted to go for Earthquake, and unfortunately he, he did, uh, knock off and didn't activate. He knocked off my weakness policy and unfortunately kills the Dragonite, so I was like, shit, I need to come back from this battle. And, uh, and I did! I went into Megalopony and I believe I went for Drain Punch. No, I went for Fake Out, my bad. <laughs> so, I think then... I went, I went for Drain Punch. Or did I? No, I think I went for... No, I went for... Yeah, I went for Drain Punch. That did a lot to Gujar, by the way, and I don't know why. So, unfortunately, that cut off speed, and... But I still was faster than Gujar, and I knocked him out with an Ice Punch. Look at that! Lopunny is so freaking powerful! So, he turns out this is a Mega Glalie, and it did return, and then I went for Fire Punch, almost killing this thing. But, guess what this little bitch did? No. I think next turn. He went for Ice Shard this turn. 
Um, I went for... He went for explosion! I was like... Eh. Unfortunately, killed Michael Fable, and I was down three. He was down three, too. So then I went back into Lopunny. Um, as he goes into Bisharp, I believe I went for... Uh, I went for Fake Out. And then he was... He flinched anyway, so... Then, I, yeah, he got paralyzed this turn, so I went for Drain Punch and <laughs> knocks out the, the Bisharp. And thank God for La Bunny, I love you. And um, I switched out into Slowbro because I need to knock out this Talon Flame. This Talon Flame was probably the worst thing on Earth, so he went. He, the Protect failed on him. I don't know why he went for U turn, probably because I'm weak to Bug. And he goes into Porygon. Um, I ended up going for Thunder Wave just to freaking paralyzed both of them it doesn't didn't matter who but i went for slack off as he goes for thunderbolt almost knocking out my soul bro but luckily we have some special defense evs and i went for slack off because i wanted to get some hp back and he was paralyzed so that sucks for him <laughs> i knocked out the porygon too and i was really happy and then the last but not least he had this talent flame in which all i did was go for scald <sighs> yay battle good battle for me honestly so yeah i really enjoy megalopony but this slow bro did a lot of work as well i didn't even have to use gengar in this look at that my gengar is just chilling right there i didn't even have to kill it but overall this battle was just mostly <laughs> mostly slow bro and lopony but you know i'm still pretty proud of myself that i actually um beat this guy and i'm learning a little more about ou um i'm getting okay at it but i've only had a few battles in ou but still i'm not the greatest in ou but overall um thank you very much for uh watching the video um don't forget to leave a like or comment if you enjoyed and also um sub don't forget to subscribe to me if you haven't already and uh i will see you guys actually thursday for a brand new battle and i will be introducing mega glalie for you guys because i wanted to i wanted to uh i have something in mind for glalie and <laughs> a little similar to the glalie that you saw today but i can't wait to use mega glalie but all right yeah yeah guys i'll see you on thursday later